Hi, welcome once again on the platform of Europedia Education and uh, this particular video is related to foreign admission, different courses in the abroad universities, MS courses, PhD courses, direct PhD courses and uh, this particular video is related to one of the destination which can be very attractive for all of you and that is Norway. In the Scandinavian countries, Norway has uh, very good universities and opportunities, career opportunities, post graduation are very good. Uh, you know, one of our mentors, Sanyam sir, has recently joined in uh, Norway and he is going to mentor you for the admission into various universities there and already he is conducting those sessions. So, in case you people are uh, interested to join Norway, Norway universities, for MS program, PhD programs, you can interact with him, you can have a session with him. You need to fill the form which is attached here and then he will conduct the sessions for you. Uh, for MS courses, yes, you need to spend money uh, like any other uh, MS programs abroad. You need to invest money, I will say. There are uh, loans available and you can invest money, but the return on investment will be very good from top universities like NTNU University. Norway, maybe you have more universities like Oslo universities and all. Uh, we will be discussing about that also, but these universities if you get, then there is a truly value for your money because they are like, you know, in India if you get into IITs and good course in IITs, you will get the job and placement also. So whatever money you invest for these courses in MS and all, so those money, uh, you know, that money comes back in very first year itself uh, once you get a job. Job you surely get if you land up in good course and good universities and that is where the mentors of Europedia will be helping you. Now, in this video, like Dard's scholarship video, I will, I am going to tell you that how to identify the opportunities for you. The moment you find certain things you have to do, the rest of the things your PDA mentors will do. What your PDA mentors cannot do is, they cannot tell you what is your interest, because that is your interest. Only you can tell what is your interest. Only you can find out, okay sir, I am interested in this course, I want to go into this course. And you know, there are so many students from humanities background, science background, they said that sir, normally you show the engineering domains. Mentors are ready to mentor you for social domains also like psychology, political science also. The uh, rules are same, I mean the guiding rules are same and where your cover letter is to prepare, that also can be prepared with the mentors of your PDA. So methodology is same. Why I take the example of certain courses is because I am from that background, but other mentors are from different backgrounds, humanities background and Europe is mentoring all the domains here. So uh, you keep checking the, the way it is uh, you have to do, what you have to follow that you please do. The moment it hits you like yes, I want to go for this course. Next step is get in touch with your PDA mentors because they are the rest, rest journey you should travel with your PDA. And I tell you one thing like uh, the kind of counseling uh, fees which your PDA has kept is too less that the kind of benefits you are going to get is will really is going to be far more. I give you example like you know if you get scholarship in PhD program in Norway, MS me to you have to spend, but MS me also you get the scholarship. But in PhD the kind of scholarship which you get and or Norway when PhD is a job for three years, they advertise it as a job, and the job which you are going to get is a scholarship is huge in that. In Corona it is huge. I mean you end up saving more than 1.5 lakh also in PhD. So that is the benefit you will get it. So the counseling or consultancy charge charged by your PDA is too less if you get such kind of uh, opportunity. I will also make a dedicated video that those of you who are already joined IITs and all for PhD programs and they get opportunity abroad uh, and better scholarship and you just joined one semester, two semester, you can always seek other opportunities also. Right. So let's go and today I'm going to discuss about NTNU. The moment you go to, you know, you uh, go to the internet, you just type NTNU and you will get this Norwegian University of Science and Technology. There are, uh, you know, MS programs, master's programs in English. There are master's program in other domains also. There are PhD programs in English, non-English. There are international master's program also, I mean uh, for international students, what are the master's programs. So all the programs wherever you are interested, if you want to go for master's in English, you can enter master's in English or international master programs. International master means 
those programs uh, which Norwegian universities are having in association with other universities also those kind of things so masters programs are there PhD programs are there only you have to do is you have to identify whether you are interested in this course not only interested you need to see whether the requirements which they mentioned do you meet those requirements or not they very clearly mentioned the requirements so do you meet those requirements or not that also you have to check it so then uh, you you start uh, exploring the options like I went to PhD and uh, I opened it and then you saw this uh, you know uh, this particular pops up this particular thing opens up then you click on find PhD program and then you get okay what are the various available PhD positions similarly uh, MS programs I am going to make a dedicated video for MS also so available PhD program and uh, that the moment you go there you will get different kind of uh, you know domains so how, how you can get the benefits so that all things are not uh, required here that is again mentioned there so I, I picked up one of the PhD program I mean there are so many PhD programs I picked it up one let us say this particular thing is relevant to you now as I told you this activity your PD mentors cannot do because they don't know what is your background so you need to see okay this is my background this is what I want to do next step a mentors are going to help you a lot like okay this is what you want now drop a mail to the professor or cover letter is to be made or IELTS is to be cleared TOEFL is to be cleared and interview is to be prepared so this is all uh, later on it is to be done so mechanical and industrial engineering department has a vacancy for you know digital supply chain management so those of you who have done their M tech in let us say mechanical or industrial engineering or even B tech I think a requirement will be there so they have advertised this post and they have written in detail what is required so three year PhD program in digital supply chain management and now supply chain management talks about digital way of digital supply chain management especially after COVID now we are talking about digital supply chain management so this is production management research group and uh, there is a post related to that and before you know uh, the, the, at the time of industry 4.0 we are talking about industry 4.0 so it is going to revolutionize the world supply chain and the supply chain management and uh, you know uh, these there are so many domains so if you have worked in any of these domains keep reading it thoroughly keep reading it what they are talking about artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things and all of you have done something related to that right so if your masters is somewhere related to this you have done work related to this then you can apply for PhD program in this and they mention also what what is expected from you what you are supposed to do they mention about uh, that also then they mention in detail about what duties are what you are supposed to do and this you are to read in detail what they expect from you can you uh, fulfill this requirement or not most of you those who have done BTEC work very nicely or your project in BTEC very nicely or MTEC you have done very seriously they will be linking it with their uh, uh, work project work or something like that suppose when you started reading this this is only one of the options then there are so many other, the other options suppose you started reading it and then you found that's sir, mera jo mtech ka project hai mera jo btech ka project hai wo exactly aisa hi hai jo inko chahiye so whatever they are telling uh, roles and functions i have done similar to that so if that is the case immediately get in touch with the mentors of your pdia because then further activities can be done now uh, selection criteria what is uh, expected from you uh, you know analytical skills quantitative approach that they check through the courses which you have done communication skill written or uh, communication English skills Scandinavian languages are also preferred but if you don't have even then it is not a problem so that is what is required uh, what is the selection criteria is you should be you know uh, professionally relevant uh, in background you should have industrial engineering operation management operation research and all and also you uh, you know strong background of topic of research as I told you you should have experience about modeling and all these artificial intelligence machine learning data driven approaches data science uh, simulation so all these catch words which we keep on talking about these uh, are the required for that this is the best part the kind of uh, it they advertise it as a job so PhD students uh, basically are PhD is considered to be a job and almost uh, uh, they give you 5 lakh kroner that is huge actually so uh, you end up saving huge money here and uh, during 3 
years and after that if you do really good you get lot of opportunities so uh, i uh, this is this was one of the options and then there are so many such options not only for phd there are options for ms there are options for post doctorate fellowship there are assistant professor associate professor suppose you want to become you know humanities group also suppose you want to become assistant or associate professor you are already working uh, as a faculty in india but you want to go abroad for opportunities you can always go in that associate professor of mechatronics so if you think you are a very good in mechatronics you are already working as uh, assistant professor you can always explore these options phd position in biophysics biomaterials so uh, uh, if you start seeing it phd candidate in psychology is required if you start seeing it and if you feel that okay i have these things first you need to enhance your skills like wo jo bola data science artificial intelligence machine learning is ka knowledge hona chahiye that is called skill suppose you have that skill and you think that yes you can fit in this start mailing the professor start applying it that is a next step you have to do it and you need to keep yourself prepared for you know such application because there are certain requirements which are there in all universities like skills ki requirement to hai data science artificial intelligence ye aapki field ke liye required hai some knowledge of coding is required and then english language ielts toefl so start your process if you have decided that mere ko jana hi hai 6 mahine 1 saal ke baad jana hai to in process ko start kar start kar dijiye start doing this particular thing and your pda can be helpful uh, in that gre ielts toefl isko nikalne mein we can be very very helpful to you and also prof professor we have identified these are the professor where you can apply and all those things can be done very nicely so start doing those activities so that the moment opportunity knocks your door and opportunities you need to explore we keep on telling you that the moment opportunity is knocks your door then you should be in position to apply there hope you got this particular thing and those of you who are interested in norway uh, then uh, you know uh, sanyam sir is going to conduct uh, detail uh, interaction with you and telling you lot of other opportunities in norway why you should do so those of you who are interested to go for ms phd and all these things for norway conduct the free session with the uh, sanyam sir and i'm sure you'll get benefited through this so let's explore the opportunities and get the best for us thank you